So let's have a look at the warm up. When you're warming up in table tennis now, the popular idea is that you need to do more dynamic movements. Previously, when we warmed up, we did a lot of static stretches. So things like holding your stretch with your hamstring and holding that for 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Now, as a warm up, the popular thinking is that you need to be doing some more um, movement type exercises. So we tend to start our warm ups with the top and move our way down. Before we do that though, I like to do just a gentle jog around. So what does that do? It just starts to get the heart rate up and you're just jogging nice and slowly. You don't have to sprint anywhere and you don't even need a very big area. So just jogging around. So just to start to get the whole body moving and to get your heart rate up slightly. How long would you do that for? Probably only two or three minutes at the most. Just as I said, just to get things moving. Then we're gonna start with the body. So to start with, I like to do a shoulder movement. So that gets your shoulders starting to mobilize, rolling them forward, and then you can make the action bigger and bigger. And you'll feel the difference when you've got it small in there compared to when you've got a bigger movement. There's a, a, a wider range of movement and you'll feel different muscles starting to move in your shoulders. So then you can do the same thing, but going backwards. So again, you can start with small and move to bigger movements. If you want to get really tricky, you can do one each way. That'll be a bit of a challenge for you. Some people get it straight away. Some people find it really difficult. Just battle, see how you go. So then from there, we've started to move the shoulders. Then we can start to think about utilizing the waist um, and the side. So the next one we can do is just moving side to side that way. So by moving side to side, now I'm starting to stretch down along there, down my lats. So here and there on both sides. So I can start to feel that all the way down here and here when I'm stretching side to side. Again, just nice gentle movements. You shouldn't be feeling any real pain, but you will start to feel a little bit of a stretch and even in through my back there. All right, so from that, you can move on and start to then do some rotation with the waist. So now we're really twisting from here. This one, it's important that you just try to keep your knees fairly um, stable and moving and uh, pointing forward. So don't move your, your knees around too much because then you're not um, using this at all. That's a different movement. So we're just rotating from the waist here. The other thing that's good for this one is to then just try to get down a little bit lower into a lower position, like you would when you're starting to play table tennis. So this rotation is a, is a really important one for table tennis. You can see that, you know, when you're playing your forehands or when you're playing your backhands, you're utilizing those muscles. So that's a nice, simple and easy one that you can use. So then we can do things like, um, even just with the groin stretch, just moving side to side. So doing from there to there, just starting to mobilize the movement sideways. So here and here, uh, or we can do just around. So we can start at the bottom, go all the way around and then go around the other way. Another one you can try is going forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. So this is now starting to stretch in my uh, quads and in my hamstring as well. So, and in the hip area. And then you can do things like hanging on to a post or you can hang on to a table if you want and now start to move your leg backwards and forwards. So with this, again, stretching in your quads when you move back that way and stretching your hamstring when you kick it forward. So again, just a nice gentle movement. Just start to get the leg swinging backwards and forwards, which starts to mobilize it. Don't forget to use your other leg and do the same thing on the other side. 
And then you can do a sideways one, and I'll show you facing here. So now we're going to stretch sideways. So kick your leg across and then up to the side. And then do the other leg. and up to the side. So those sort of gentle movements just start to get um, the body starting to move, the muscles starting to move in directions that you'll start to utilise them when you start to get onto the table and, start and play uh, the game. Why are they important? Why is it important to do a warm up? Firstly, gets the blood flowing, gets the heart rate up a little bit. You can hear that I'm puffing a little bit um, and I haven't really done it the full warm up but I'm puffing a little bit, I'm starting my, the blood starting to flow through my muscles, which then helps to reduce the risk of injury when you get onto the table. So Alice, that's really interesting about the dynamic stretches. When I first started playing, it was all the warm-ups were just static stretches, but when I do like a static stretch and, and pull and hold, it kind of almost feels a little bit painful, but these dynamic stretches feel a lot more comfortable and, and I kind of like them a bit better. Do you find that? Yeah, when, when you get out onto the table after doing that dynamic stretching, you, you're ready to move and you're ready to, uh, to start to hit some balls a little bit easier, I think. Yeah, so now I don't know much about the science of this, but is there any scientific reason why these are better? Um, no, they, they talk about the static stretches. Actually, when you hold and, and um, keep the stretch there, what tends to happen after you let it go is the muscle goes bang and actually shortens a little bit um, for that short period of time, which could lead to more injuries. So that's why they're now uh, recommending the dynamic stretches. Okay, and what about after the game? Is this static stretch still okay yeah, then? Or? Yeah, so static stretches are good. So they, they, do, um, they do help you uh, with your flexibility in the long term if you do, do hold and keep those static stretches. So that's something you can do at the end of training, perhaps. Okay, excellent. All right, well, yeah, there's a, a big difference from when I first started playing table tennis. Uh, take some of these ideas Alice has shown you and use them in your warm-up and see if you find that works better for you.